Hello, Mako Madness fans. This is Dan, and uh, you must be wondering what the heck are we doing? Uh, obviously, our page is called Mako Madness, but uh, we've been going to a lot of different parks recently, Bush Gardens, and now Universal Orlando. What are you doing? Well, I want to bring the most up-to-date coverage that you can uh, for construction. If it's Hulk, Cobra's Curse, Mako, whatever it is around the world, I want to bring it to you. So today, we have a uh, incredible Hulk update that we're going to do. So let's head inside the park. guys we're here now at the Hulk and uh, of course we have this giant wall that's been here for quite a while uh, you can't really see too much in the area by the old launch tunnel but uh, a couple things I did want to note we just posted an update recently on our page just in the last day showing off the new track pieces for Hulk those are actually the pieces believe it or not I can I promise you I can verify it uh, even the track labels, they're different from Mako or any other B&M that we've seen. So uh, that is indeed Hulk. But uh, we're going to showcase the ride and see if we can see some different footers that are getting some work and uh, other areas of the construction site as well. So let's take a tour. Station area, I hope, is going to get some work, but uh, it looks like it's just kind of rotting away in a sense. But I'm sure it's going to get spruced up once it comes closer to the opening of the ride. Well, guys, we're getting a look at the incredible Hulk construction site right now. As you can see, some of the footers over there are the old ones where they just chop those bad boys right up, and then off to the side over here. We're going to have some of the newer ones, or at least some of the old footers, but they're transitioning into new forms. And off to the left over here, some that are on the like barge area, of course, to keep some of the sediment out. But a lot of these guys look like uh, they're just about done. Going to need caps on them, but not too much longer. Just around the corner from Hulk, we of course have Kong that's going up. Uh, since I've been here the last, uh, they've done a lot of aesthetics on the outside of the building. We can see right here, it looks like they've actually done some more painting on the outside of the building. A little bit further down, you can tell the difference in the color right there. But uh, more wooden spokes, things like that. Uh, looks good at least from the outside right here. We're going to go around and uh, take another view. Well, we moved down just a little bit and uh, we can actually see a new rock formation that looks like it started. And the front entrance way again is looking really, really nice. Uh, I expect this is going to be a really great attraction. A lot of interactive elements in it. Uh, it's going to be really neat. Now, the main entrance area is going to be right here, of course, with this giant Kong sculpture. And we had the main building back there. But I can't wait to see this at night. It's going to look really good with all the torches. And uh, I think they're going to do a really nice touch for it. Though. Another side profile view of the construction site. We can see the main entrance area is looking pretty good, along with the queuing area. Progressing nice. From the Velociraptor observation tower, we can see more of the construction. It looks like it's going to be the uh, outside of a building. Maybe for the gift shop or queue. And of course the queue area that is right there. And the main entrance that is right here looks really great. Like I've said many times before. I can't wait for this ride. I think it's going to be neat. More of the walkways. All sorts of stuff. Across the lagoon, this is our view. Uh, desolate as of right now, but in the next couple months, we should see steel flying for the Incredible Hulk. Again, more of those footers right there. 
But if you like these updates and uh, want to know more about Hulk and the progress that's going on with it, follow our Facebook, our YouTube, and our Instagram page at Mako Madness. And I will see you out on the Midway.